Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't hung out yet, I'm Mikkel. Good to meet you. Today we are doing a video that is a little different from most videos. Also, my hair is crazy. I was in a ponytail all day and I just now have to do a self-tape so I had to take it down. It's very like southern. I'm a southern girl so can't take the southern hair out of me. What we are doing today is decluttering my closet. I say this with a little bit of fear because I have recently gotten rid of everything I thought I didn't want and it was a lot of stuff and I was feeling pretty proud of it but I want to have more of a capsule wardrobe definitely not a real capsule wardrobe I was watching videos on it and most people define a capsule wardrobe as having 60 pieces or less some people count outerwear, some people don't. Some people count shoes, some people don't. Some people count workout clothes, some people don't. I counted my clothes. Um, I did count outerwear, but I did not count shoes or pajamas or workout clothes or anything like that. And I had 130 things. Mind you, I probably just got rid of about 100 things, but I wanna get rid of more. I have this weird like attachment um, slash fear. I hold a lot of sentimental value in some clothes. I literally have some clothes I haven't gotten rid of because I'm like, oh, I wore this on Brooke and I's first date. I wore this the day he asked me to be his girlfriend, things like that. And I also, since I'm an actress, have this fear of what if I'm gonna need this for an audition. And uh, when you go to fittings for commercials and stuff, they ask you to bring your own stuff. Most of the time you don't end up wearing it, but I like to bring options for them. So I've used those things to justify holding on to clothes. I honestly don't know how much I will get rid of today because like I said, I just went through a big get rid of phase, but let's go check together, shall we? <sighs> also, side note, um, last night I decluttered all of my beauty products um, and I haven't posted it because I thought it was kind of boring. I was watching the footage and I was like, I wanna watch this. So let me know if that actually sounds like something you'd want to watch or if you think it sounds boring like me. If you want to watch it, I'll post it. I already got the footage, but let's let's do clothes. Welcome to my closet. Filming in my closet might be a little logistically weird, so I don't exactly know how this is gonna work, but first I'm gonna give you an overview of what I have and where it is. So, hanging here, I have all of my shirts. So it kind of goes, shirts I wear a lot, shirts I wear less frequently, which would be my first sign, is I'll probably get rid of some of these. Dresses sweatery stuff and outerwears at the end. And then here I have some sweaters, cardigans, yoga pants, no, yoga pants, workout shirts, heels. Oh man, you know what? You know what I didn't include in my count? All my jeans, I keep them out on my room divider shelf. So I have way more than 130 and the dirty laundry. Wow, that's probably like 150. We're gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna prop you right there as I go through this stuff. You're a little crooked, I'm calling it out now so haters don't call it out later. Also, this is gonna be my way. Okay, I'm procrastinating, can you tell? Where do we start, where do we start? So this side, I know I'm less likely to get rid of stuff because I wear this stuff a lot. So I'm gonna skip past the new stuff that I know I'm gonna keep so that this video is not too long. All this stuff is pretty much new. This is a denim skirt that I got for free at an event and it's a great brand and it's really cute, but I haven't worn it and I don't think I will wear it. So I'm going to, I'm gonna give all this clothes to my best friend and her sisters um, because between the three of them, they all have different styles and different sizes and someone will want it. Oh, I'm already like a little bit sad to get rid of this just because I know it's expensive. Okay, okay, I love these. By the way, these were given to me by a mom who I babysit for, and they're like total mom shorts, but I love mom shorts. This was a hand-me-down, and the only reason I hold on to it is because I sometimes wear it under my work shirt, but there's a little hole, and I just don't think I'm gonna wear it. It's Theory, so it's a nice brand. This is the one I told you. I actually had this in a giveaway pile, and Brooke told me to keep it. I wore this on our first date, and it's so unlike me. It's like hooded, it has like low-cut armpit holes, um, but he likes it. I'm gonna keep it. It's the only sentimental piece I'm gonna keep. I promise. I'll compensate by getting rid of something. This was from Urban Outfitters. It's just like a basic crop tank and I actually think it'd be really cute on Kaylee's. This is Free People. This is one of those things that I'm thinking what if I need to wear it to an audition. I'm gonna put this on the maybe. I'm gonna make a maybe side over here. This is kind of new and the only reason I don't wear it is because it's too low cut. 
for me, I'm gonna give it away. This is a good audition shirt. See, this is the type of thing that maybe I don't need that for, to where it's not really like my style, but it looks nice and you stand out and it's flattering. This, oh my goodness, this would look so cute on Kaylee's. It's very soft, but I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna keep this as an audition shirt. I've worn this before to auditions and I feel like it's flattering and cute. This, I think it's had a good run. I've worn it on Taste Made, so you know, the world has seen it. This, I hope I'm gonna wear it once summer comes around again. And it's very similar to this one, so I feel like I should choose one. I feel like this one fits me better than this one. I just like the aesthetic of this, how it's like minimal, but I'm going to get rid of it and keep one since they're kind of similar. This is new and I honestly haven't worn it and just the fact, not new, but new in the fact that I haven't worn it. And I think because I haven't worn it, I'm not going to. So it's made well. It's gonna go to a better home. This is hard because I like this a lot, but I just don't put it on. I think it's less of who I am and more of who I thought I'd be. Got really deep. This shirt I've had for a while and it's still cute, but just the fact that I've had it for so long, I'm not gonna wear it anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of it. This shirt is very similar to this shirt and this shirt fits me better. So this also would look very cute on Kaylee's. She likes tied things, things that tie in the front. This shirt is something that's hard because though I can't see it now, can you see it stain on the camera? My mom got me this to wear for taste made and I never got to wear it because there was a stain on it that um, came with the shirt. Now I can't really see it, oh, is it there? You know, I can't tell. I'm gonna put this in the maybe because if there's still a stain, probably not gonna wear it. This is an audition shirt. This is my like, young intern shirt. So though I don't love, love it anymore, um, I'm gonna keep it out of necessity. This is a shirt that I love, but I wanna cut it. I wanna crop it. I've also worn this on Taste Made, but I can just make this cuter. So I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna crop it later. This, I haven't worn. I've kept it because it's free people and that's the only reason I've kept it. So I'm gonna get rid of it. I need to wear this. This is also free people and I've worn it once and I really like it. There's a couple snags, but I'm gonna keep it as an intent to wear it. This, another tank, I'm gonna get rid of it. Urban Outfitters. It's gonna have a better life in another home. See, I wear this sometimes, before I tell you the sentimental story. I wear this like tight over swimsuits a lot, but I came to LA for an audition when I was like 14 maybe, and to kill time before the audition, we went into this vintage store and I bought this and I thought it was so cool because it was vintage and it was from LA and then I ended up living here. So I kept it as like my little, I, at the time I wanted it because I wanted to live here and now I do live here. It's a classic t-shirt. I did a shoot with this brand, which is why I got it. It's very soft, but honestly, I just don't wear it. Rick told me he liked this shirt on me once and so that's the only reason I'm keeping it. I don't know if off the shoulder, it's like an off the shoulder, it's just tied up. I don't know if off the shoulder will still be cute once it warms up again. If it's not, I will get rid of it. This is another thing for auditions just because I get schoolgirl notices a lot. These are vintage skirts. And I wore them actually in high school a lot. And the only reason I've kept them is because I wonder if I'll get an audition for it, but I haven't. So I think it's time. I think it's time to say goodbye. I wore this as my bridal shower dress and look how much it's shrunk shrunk so much. I hope I can still wear it. I need to try it on. And the dresses now. This one I got from a brand and it has shrunk as well. So for that reason alone, I'm going to give it to someone smaller than me. This is a cute dress and I got it for like $6 and I was so proud of it, but the, the, the boob area just doesn't fit me right. So I'm going to give it to someone as well. I wear this just as a swimsuit cover up, which probably isn't reason enough to keep it, but I'm going to. See, this is a fun vintage dress that I sometimes wear and to justify getting rid of those like 50 skirts, this is kind of timeless. So I feel like I could wear this and I don't need the other ones. I call these my like, I'm a guest at a wedding dress. This one too. I will hold on to those. I feel like I'm not getting rid of enough dresses. Okay, I also wear this as a swimsuit cover up. So I should just choose one between both of these. I kind of like them both. 
I feel like this is more timeless, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. And, oh, I really like this one. It has an open back. But hopefully it's loved more somewhere else. I watched that like cleaning show on Netflix, just a couple episodes, and she like always says thank you to everything she's getting rid of, and I like that. I just got this <laughs> um, because I was in Riverside where Brooke lives and we were doing like the surprise dinner for our friends getting married and I didn't get the memo that we we're supposed to dress up. So I ran to Nordstrom's Rack and I bought this and I like it but the boobs don't fit me so I have safety pins in the boobs. Um, so I feel like just because the boobs don't fit me I should get rid of it even though I really like this dress and it kind of makes me sad to get rid of it. Realistically I'm not going to go get it altered. This is the dress I was wearing when Brooke proposed. Ugh. Who knew this dress would end up being so special? Now this one, I have worn this for my high school graduation and I loved it and I've held on to it because it's free people and I've worn it since, but I've worn it a lot and I've started liking longer dresses. This one's kind of short. So it's gonna go to someone who loves it. This dress I got at Ross and I did not realize it was Abercrombie and I have worn it a couple times but I think I have other dresses I like more. I'm gonna get rid of it. This is something I bought because a lot of people were wearing it and I ended up just not really wearing it and it's cute and it's from Urban Outfitters but it just doesn't fit my body right so I'm gonna get rid of it too. Wow I'm doing good. I'm proud of myself. I have plenty of cardigans. Getting rid of this one. Honestly haven't worn this in a while. I'm doing good. I haven't worn this in a while, but I keep it because I keep telling myself it's cute and I like it and it's cropped. So I think the reason I haven't worn it is because it's in the back of my closet where I don't see it. I'm going to move it to the front and try to be intentional about wearing it. This I like and it's comfy and it has like the cute retro Brandy Melville, but I haven't worn it in a while. So I'm going to be good and get rid of it. This was another hand-me-down and it's very nice. It's Club Monaco. I don't know, sounds expensive, but I also haven't worn it, so bye. This has been my best purchase of 2018. It is a Marc Jacobs jacket, and it was originally $320, but I got it for $80 at Nordstrom's Rack, and I've been wearing it every day, and I love it. This is a long cardigan that I love, but it has, oh, I cut the sleeves off. It had a stain on the sleeves, but I've cut the sleeves off, and honestly, it's just, it's had a good run. This is kind of a fun neutral that I haven't worn in a while, but I feel like it's timeless, so I'm gonna keep it. This is just a sweater, like a sweatshirt, and I have a lot of things like it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This, I like it, and it's from Anthropology, and it's really soft. I'm gonna keep it as like a cozy winter around the house shirt. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, I do know what this is. This is a high-waisted, I mean high-waisted, a like turtleneck cropped sweater. It's cute, but I have forgotten about it for a couple of years, so I think that's a sign. Last time I wore it was New Year's Eve when we were in California, so three New Year's Eves ago. So I will get rid of it. I like this cropped sweater. This is another cropped sweater, and I don't need two of them. So. I'm gonna get rid of the one that I don't wear as much and keep the one I do wear. Cause why do you need two of the same thing, right? That's the philosophy, that's the mentality I'm going for. This is a free people basic. I sometimes wear it under my work shirt, but I just need to get a real work shirt to wear under my work shirt. And now we're to jackets. Okay. This, I've loved this since high school. It's a fun free people jacket. It's kind of like grungy and cute. But, I can't believe I'm saying this. I think it will have a better life elsewhere. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Thank you and goodbye. Just like that cute lady on Netflix says. This, I remember wearing this on my 20th birthday because Brooke posted a picture of me in this and he doesn't post a lot of things because he sucks at Instagram. So, um, it was special that he posted me. Um, but, I feel like these kind of like blush long colors were very in a couple years ago and are less prevalent now so I'm gonna get rid of it. I think this was a hand-me-down blazer and I kept it for auditions. Do I have another blazer? I don't have another blazer. 
and I am officially young intern roll age. I don't want to keep this, but I feel like I need to. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. This, I still wear this, and I got it at a thrift store in seventh grade. I'm pretty proud of it. Okay, now here's a dilemma. We have this jacket that I'm wearing now that I bought because I was out with Brooke and I did not realize it would get cold and so we stopped in a Forever 21 and it was $7 and I wear it all the time. And these are similar. I like this one. I feel like it's retro and sporty and I usually wear black workout clothes underneath it. So I'm gonna get rid of this one even though it's fun. It's really cute. But I don't need three puffer jacket things like bomber jackets. Okay. Wow. What's up here? These are the two pairs of denim shorts I actually wear. My one pair of white jeans and whatever this is. I wore these like every day in high school. They've had a good life. Oh, you need to see this aftermath. I'm gonna hold on to these for a while and think about them. This video has already been very long, so I'm going to do my like accessories and shoes and stuff either on my own or in another vlog. Let me know if you're interested but I want you to see the aftermath before I, before I go. Look at this pile. I'm very proud of that. Not a capsule wardrobe by any means. <gasps> you know, this is new, but I think it could have a better life somewhere else too. A second pass, a second pass is always good to look at all of these things. This never fit me either and I never wore it. The second pass is good. But all of this stuff, I like, and I feel like it still fits my aesthetic. So I'm not gonna miss any of this, I don't think. Being totally honest right now, I'm filming this outro before I decluttered my closet. So um, don't know what we did together, but thanks for doing it with me. If you liked this video and if you wanna hang out with me more, I would love that. So go ahead and press subscribe. And I am being really good about posting frequently now that I'm being paid for it. Hmm, a lot of honesty right now, a lot of honesty. But nevertheless, posting more for you. We can hang out more. Let's do it, press subscribe. I love you. Thanks for being my friend and I will see you next time.